The next uh, piece of news is that protesters at Kentucky Capitol tell Muslim children that Islam is a false religion. The Council on American Islamic Relations shared a video that shows a group of Muslim students boarding a school bus outside the Kentucky Capitol in Frankfort, Kentucky, while three men tell them over a loudspeaker, handheld loudspeaker device, that Islam is a false religion and Jesus Christ is the only one who can save you. The students were in Franklin for the first Muslim day at the state capitol, which the group's Kentucky chapter organized as an opportunity to have members of the Muslim community meet with legislators and advocate for various issues. At the start of the roughly three and a half minute video, students can be seen boarding a school bus while a man with a small microphone and speaker is heard saying, the Muslim faith is a false religion. Islam is a false religion. You must repent of your sins and come to Jesus Christ or you will go to hell. How old are these kids? Most of them were middle school age. I think so, that, I think it's fine to tell them like they're not like you're not going up to like four year old kids and shouting to them that And they he, they weren't fine. going up to them. They were just standing. I mean yeah. I think you should leave kids out of it, but what here's my take on it that I find really interesting is that these people always come to events and shout at whomever and the care is saying that this is a form of anti-Muslim bigotry. No. And so what I want to know is when they yell it at at other people, is that a form of you know, anti-Jewish right. bigotry? Is that a form of anti-Hindu bigotry? Atheist, is that atheist. a form of atheist bigotry? You know, yeah. so be, because in the United States, especially, people have the right to do that. Right. So and they're I in a public the problem space. Yeah. And all they're doing is just yelling their stupid belief. Yeah. Which they do at all kinds of events. I mean, I so have, when they yell it at Muslims, it's discrimination and bigotry. But when they yell it at everybody else, it's just not very nice. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't understand. That's a very good point. I mean, okay, so if they were going to the ki to the kids, by the way, these are not like, okay to so the kids and in their face like harassing them. This would be obviously abuse, and they should be arrested. But if you're just standing where you are and preaching. I mean, yeah, they're stupid and they have stupid beliefs, but it should mm -hmm. and they're and but it should be allowed. Like, what, like it's anti-Muslim bigotry to tell other people the things that you believe in. Like, no, you're just dumb and you have dumb beliefs. Yeah, and you're very fr like that's a very fair point. If these if these people were doing this next to atheist kids, people wouldn't be that that offended compared to you know they might say it's not fair to do that to you know minors but other than that i don't think they would in any way call it bigotry and then another I mean, point that i mean ahead, if, if it's gonna... wrong because they're kids they're i mean then you can't technically in advertise your views in public places anywhere because their kids might be walking around Ex and, and exactly. they might he and they might hear you right go on. exactly when the other point that i thought was really interesting is some I watched the whole video, and some of the things the guy says is that your parents need to be ashamed Ooh. and shamed, not ashamed, but shamed for having a false religion. And I agree, he, and so should they. <laughs> and he, then he also said that um, you know they need they you know they have the right to say this, and you know. Your parents should, you know, not teach you these things and they should be ashamed of you and you should be Oof. ashamed of them, which I think is really Jesus. interesting because one of the things that you hear a lot from not just Muslims, other religious people, but oftentimes Muslim families, members, you know, they're, they, you know, should shame or mm. shun people who disagree with them. change the religion or leave the religion and now these people are upset that someone else is basically saying similar things to what oh, is yeah. in their holy book. Right, right, right. So, yeah, I mean, these people are not very nice. I want to use a different word, but YouTube doesn't let me or else this video right. will get deprioritized. So, A, 
holes. Can I say that? Yeah, these people are dead. But, um, so these, I mean, obviously, but I don't understand why does this, I think this is only getting coverage because the kids were Muslim. If the kids were any other, th which, which is a form of, so basically this is not only not anti-Muslim bigotry, to me this is Mus Muslim privilege because mm -hmm. other, other kids wouldn't get this much of a uh, attention. I mean, I had these people uh, coming at me and like, you know, shouting in my face. I remember that was in Vegas, right? And mm -hmm. these people have no concern. I'm pretty sure like they would do that to me even if I was a kid. So, but it, I mean, they must be doing it all the time. I mean, uh, yeah. So let me see actually what the comments, wait, the comments say. Well, you going to say something? I was going to say that we had, there was a guy who used to stand downtown and yell this. When I was in college, they were there almost every day at the square mm. yelling this kind of thing. And I think that the reason it's getting the press is because of care. Mm. The Council on Islamic Relations, because from my perspective, whenever I see them bring anything forward, I don't really see them protecting or advocating for people, mm. for Muslims. I see them advocating for Islam, for the yes. faith. Yes, right, 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 right. So Curtis, so yeah, and they love it when they're attacked like this. Yeah, actually, these mm. Islamic groups in you know United States and other places, they you think they get like when they hear a story like this, they're like, oh no, this is a tragedy. Or like. No, they're like, yes, we're relevant again. Let's do go and <laughs> pick up this news. Uh, the top comment is by Kurt. He's saying, well, well, they are not wrong about that. I think about the fact that the religion is, uh, is a wrong, false religion. False religion. All right. And then Kurt continues, but hassling kids? I think you mean harassing kids. Harassing kids is uncool. Hassling is a word too. Okay. Hassling kids is uncool. If the protesters feel their own religion is true, they would be incorrect, in my opinion. In the U.S., you have the right to believe whatever you, whatever crap you like, as long as you don't expect others to accept it. Actually, I don't agree with that. I think you could also, in the United States, you have the freedom to believe what you want, but you also have the freedom to expect other people to believe your religion. That's not against the law in the United States. I mean, it's a stupid expectation unless you convince them logically. But as long as you don't expect other people to believe in, no, you could. It's free in the United States to expect others to believe your religion. So you're wrong with that, Kurt. But I don't understand the freedom to believe what you want. That's a stupid rule because it's impossible to remove that freedom from anybody, anyways. You could force people to pretend that or act like they don't believe in a certain religion or don't practice a religion but there's no way in no way at all to force somebody to don't to stop believing what they want how like oh freedom to believe freedom to believe how are you going to remove that freedom like somebody explain to me how are you going to remove that freedom so it should I be it should be freedom to practice Freedom to practice, or express your, it. freedom to practice your religion, freedom to express your religion. Those make sense to me, but freedom to believe your religion is a useless terminology because there's no way yet to stop somebody from believing whatever they want. Right. I just want to say, like, watch the video. I, I do feel like yelling at kids is uncool. Yeah. But they weren't in the kid. They were on the so. sidewalk and the kids were a f several feet away from them getting in and out of a school bus. So it wasn't as if they were directly in front of the kids. Right. If they were, you know, in the kids face. Right. So it was we're, like, we're such a fair channel, right? Like we are like, if we're like so biased with anything anti-Christian or anti-Islamic, we're like, yeah, these stupid Christians, they're so evil. Like, but we're like very objective. Like, I think we're, we're the most objective channel there is. So, all right, I dropped my um, paperwork synopsis. Okay, here we go. Yeah. All right, let all me right. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. 
we have built a global community and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.